Welcome to Strength Side. Today we're talking about the best exercises that you may not be doing. So what are these mysterious exercises? Well, these exercises and movements are ones that are free from structure. Okay? If you don't know what that means, it means you're probably not going to find a lot of these exercises in the middle of 24-hour fitness. Okay? So what are these movements that we're talking about that are free from structure? They could really be anything. Take crawling, for example, rolling, sprinting, jumping. The Turkish getup is one you might all be familiar with. You know, take a weight, put it overhead, and try and stand up with it. Whatever it ends up looking like, that's Turkish getup. Right. So one of the, the, the primary thing with these movements that we're talking about is that there's not a really strict um, structured form. It actually kind of leaves it up to you to interpret how you want to move to accomplish this task, right? Yeah. Any, any type of sport is usually like this, right? Yeah. Yes, there's certain forms in sport, like you should probably shoot this way, but there's plenty of people who shoot various, you know, you know, in unique ways that still can accomplish the task, right? Yeah. So why should you do these types of movements rather than only going to the gym and doing the basic stuff that we all see every day on YouTube and in the exercise textbooks? Yeah, so uh, I think it's, it's pretty well known at this point that um, – compound movements are better than isolation movements. And um, when we look at why, I mean, um, you're obviously you're using more muscles and whatnot, but physical therapists use a ton of isolation movements to supplement their compound movements. Right. Right? So if you, you got to get a muscle stronger before it can work. move in a functional compound way. Yeah, synergistically with all other muscles around it. You have to bring it up to speed. So then one step up, we move to compound movements, two joints, three joints, four joints, whatever. But if we're still thinking in terms of sets and reps, then we're still defining what plane of motion we're moving in, what muscles we're using, um, you know, a whole def bunch of parameters that when we move to more dynamic movements, getting out of the gym, all those things go out the window. So we work on our compound movements to get better at things like being athletic. Right. So, right. So, basically, you know, it's it's good to train your squat and your deadlift. Those are great things you want to increase your strength and your functionality in those types of movements, but to say a squat and a deadlift is a functional movement, well, what is it functional for? When in everyday life are you going to have something heavy on your back and need to squat that? When am I going to pick something off the ground with a perfect, you know, when are the settings going to be perfect so I'm grabbing right onto a bar? Right, right. In everyday life, we're doing, you know, this is what actual functional, functional movements are when we're doing things that aren't in one plane of motion, right? Things are here, we're doing, we're moving in, yeah, multi-planes, right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, isolation, compound, those are great, but there has to be something after compound, and that's where athleticism comes in, right? And that's yeah. where movements that are, you know, out of the scope of these uh, strict forms come to play. Now, if you play a sport, you know, if you're out there doing martial arts, then you're already doing a lot of movement. But if you're not, which a lot of people aren't after they're, you know, a kid and they're done playing high school sports, then you need to incorporate some freedom of movement into your training. It doesn't have to be your whole training. It doesn't have to be a be lot a of time. Very small portion. It, it could be 10 minutes a day, you know. It can be what you, 10 minutes that you do after you're done doing your training in the gym, but it needs to be there, in our opinion. Yeah, yeah. Right. So if you're wondering, like, how could I get started? Um, Let's get practical here. Yeah. Uh, uh, a, a very easy... Uh, way to just kind of mess around with this is um, lay down the ground and figure out new ways of getting back up. I do this with clients all the time. I'll have them do this, say, five times. You have to get up from the ground in five different ways. Let's do it. Yeah, let's have Josh do it. Let's okay. try it out. 
So I'm just going to get down on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm going to zip up my pocket so my mic doesn't fall out. And from here, I'm going to find a way to get up off the ground. I'm going to go like this. Boom. He did it with no hands. Oh, no hands. Extra That's because I'm fancy, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need to do that if you're not there yet. So let's get another one going. Pretty simple. What did you think of that one? Two out of ten. Two? Oh, shit. That's pretty low. Yeah? Pretty good. Okay. Burpee style. We, we get a little more fancy. We don't cross it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Candlestick. Let's see if he's got one more in him. What do I got? What do I got here? A little 360 there. <laughs> Style points at the end. <laughs> See how simple it is? And guess what? It's usually pretty fun. It's fun. And at the end of that, you're going to feel uh, very good, right? All your joints are working. Um, you're going to feel very warmed up. Yeah. So, and it's funny that uh, we were just having this conversation earlier about um, like when I feel the most flexible and the most and like the best. And I would say, it's when I'm playing a sport that involves a lot of range of motion. When you're just moving around, it, your joints feel great, feel good. It's probably going to increase your joint range of motions doing stuff like that, getting into 90-90 on the ground and having to move out of it. Like there's, there's a ton of benefits other than just having fun and trying new things. Right. All right. So try it out, guys, if you want or don't. But we think maybe you should. All right, that's the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Like the Facebook page. If you have any questions to ask us, shoot them there. As always, see you in the next one.